Hi students, welcome to this session here at Infinity Learn by Sri Chaitanya. I'm Anirudha, your physics faculty. And today we're doing a quick take on the Doppler effect. Now the Doppler effect is a topic that most students think is difficult because they feel that there are so many formulas to remember for each of the different cases. But I'll show you that there is one single case that you need to remember and just one formula. And all the other cases will just come as an extension to that. So let's see what that case is and what that formula is. So this is that case where the source and the listener are coming towards each other. You don't need to remember all the other cases. Over here, Vs is directed towards the listener, which is the speed of the source. And Vl, which is the speed of the listener, is directed towards the source. Now, the general expression would be F dash is equal to V plus Vl divided by V minus Vs into F. You know what the terms are already. F dash is the, is the F is the actual frequency which the source emits. F dash is the frequency as heard by the listener. And Vs and Vl, like I already said, speed of source and speed of listener. So this is the only formula that you need to remember. And this is the only case that you need to remember. Because I'll show you this, everything else will just fall as a, as a consequence of this. So just remember the directions, Vs towards listener, Vl towards the source. Now let's move on. Here we have the other cases. Let's start with the original equation. This is the equation, source and observer or listener moving towards each other. Now the first case is with source moving towards listener, but listener is true. The listener is at rest. So in that case, source moving towards observer, well and good, same as our case, which means this bottom part stays as is, nothing changes, but the listener is at rest, which means VL becomes equal to zero. If you make VL zero, what does formula become? Just V divided by V minus VS. So that is the formula. Okay, so just comes from here if you understand what is actually happening. Next, next case, again, all the other cases, we have them all here. I'll again write the original case. So source, and listener moving towards each other, then F dash was equal to V plus VL by V minus VS into F. So let's see the extension to this. Now source is moving away from listener, listener is at rest, which means source is moving in the opposite direction. So all you have to do is for S, VS has become negative now. So if you put a negative value of VS, this part is going to become positive because negative into negative becomes positive. So it's positive here. Also, listener is at rest, which means again, VL is zero, putting VL zero, so you see, VS direction reversed and VL is equal to zero. You get the relation. Again, let's try the same thing with source at rest, listener moving away from source. Original case, listener moving towards source. Now listener moving away means, again, VL will come with a negative sign. Remember, opposite direction means negative sign for vectors. So VL will come with a negative sign and source is at rest, meaning Vs is zero. So in this case, you have V minus VL divided by just V because Vs goes to zero. Again, next case, source is at rest, listener is moving towards the source. In that case, source is at rest, meaning Vs is zero. Again, listener moving towards the source, same as our case, which means VL will stay positive, stay as is, keep the upper part as is. In the bottom part, put Vs0, you get it. So you see how just this equation, the only thing you need to remember, equation and the directions and everything else. If you ever see a direction reversed, just change the sign of that and you'll get it. If you see something is at rest, just make it zero and you'll get the relation for it. So the other two cases are, this is the original case, which people consider. This is the one, like I said, you need to remember source and listener approaching each other. And the other one is source and listener moving opposite. In which case you can understand that originally this is source listener approaching. If now they're both going away from each other, source direction also reversed, listener direction also reversed. So each of them will come with a negative sign. VL, when a negative sign comes here, it becomes negative because positive into negative. And when VS comes with a negative sign, you have a negative into negative, which makes the lower part positive. So you see that is the formula here. It's just reversed because it's now minus VL and minus VS. So minus VS into minus made it plus VS. Okay. So both move in the same direction with same velocity. Then F dash is equal to F 
This is to remember because Doppler effect, any change in frequency only happens when there's a relative motion between two, two different cases. If both are moving with the same velocity, there's no relative motion because the distance between them remains constant throughout as they move about. Okay, so then apparent frequency same as your original frequency. Another case is when they are both moving with the same velocity but perpendicular. Okay, perpendicular means you have the source, you have the listener moving with the same velocity, same velocity perpendicular to each other. Again, you can understand there is no relative motion between them because now this is the connecting line between them. They both move together up or down, perpendicular. But their relative distance is constant throughout. So no relative motion, no Doppler effect. But if one moves faster, if one moves faster than the other, so over here, say this is the distance. If after some time S is over here, L is here. If S moved faster, then the relative distance changed, which means there is now relative velocity. Here, there would be a change in frequency. Okay, so just to give you a heads up, the cases where this uh, change in frequency does not happen. There's an extension to the Doppler effect, which is with the movement, uh, there's with the movement of the medium. In that case, all you have to do is understand does the medium help the sound or does it oppose the sound. Here, sound is traveling from source to this uh, L over here. The medium is also flowing in that direction. So the medium helps the source of sound. That is why in the speed of sound, you just add it. The speed becomes faster. It's like something can move, but there's an escalator below it. So they're both moving together. So that is why this medium is the escalator that helps you climb or helps the sound move faster. So that is why you add it. If suppose your VM was directed in the opposite direction, just put it with minus VM and the same relation you'll get. You'll get V minus VM and then plus VL or minus VL and plus minus VS. Okay, so understand whether the medium helps your sound travel or it opposes the sound from traveling. And based on that, put positive or negative over there. So that's it. For Doppler effect, that's all you need to remember and you should be able to solve all questions in your JE mains with regards to this. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you all in the next one.